Let's cut right to the chase. I'm going to teach you how to learn to kill Vorkath. This is a Vorkath guide, but also a guide that you can apply to learn any bosses in old school RuneScape. First of all, let's get the gear and requirements out of the way. I killed Vorkath in this gear with these stats. I use some brain death rum to drain my stats to prove that it's not about your stats and gear. If you have 75 range and 70 defense and drink a Bastion pot, you will have the same stats that I had while I killed Vorkath with this gear setup. And I guarantee you could do it with even less because I still made mistakes during this run. Learning to eat is the most important part about PVM because when you are eating it means you're not doing damage. But in almost every boss fight there are moments when you simply cannot damage the boss and therefore this is when you should be eating. For Vorkath that means eating during his two special phase attacks. If your HP is above 32 then you should never be eating outside of these two special attack phases. And if you do eat outside of these phases it is simply a mistake that will decrease your chances of getting a kill. Which is fine. Sometimes. But when you're learning, it's important. The first and easiest time to heal to full HP is during Vorkath's acid phase. Even though you can damage Vorkath during this phase with a bit more advanced techniques, all damage is still reduced by like 50%. So when you're learning to kill Vorkath, you shouldn't even attempt to do damage during this phase. Simply focus on keeping your character moving and heal up to full HP. I usually ensure that my character is still moving by clicking somewhere on the screen where there is no acid and then quickly clicking on some food right after and then repeat for each piece of food that I want to eat. The second time you should be eating is when Vorkath spits out his little spider thingy. You can eat two times during this phase if you are quick, but when you're learning you should only try to eat during one of these moments as the other one can get you killed. And that first moment is immediately after you kill the spawn. As soon as you see the XP drops, click on a piece of food and then turn your prayers back on and turn XP drops on if they're not already. After you have some experience eating during this fight, I recommend trying to eat before killing the spawn. As soon as you see this light blue fire come out of Vorkath's mouth, that's when you should click a piece of food, equip your slayer staff, and then kill the spawn. So now that you know when to eat, how should you go about learning to eat? Well, you should practice. And to do that, I recommend going into a Vorkath instance with the expectation that you are going to die. Your goal is simply to last as long as possible with the food that you have brought in your inventory and only eating during the times when you can't do damage to Vorkath. If your health goes below 32 during his normal attacks, you need to eat or you risk dying. Should this happen, you should combo eat, meaning you should click on a shark or whatever food you have and then a Karamblon to heal twice as much in the same amount of time. After you do this a single time and have recognized the moments when you should be eating versus when you should be attacking him, that is when you should go back and try to kill him after. But before you have any encounter with Vorkath, you need to ensure that you have a couple settings turned on that will help you out a lot. Before you start the fight, you're going to want to turn your run energy off because you're going to need to be walking during the acid phase. The first setting is turning on control to run. Vorkath can one hit KO you with his fireball attack and if you have a slow reaction time, it really helps to hold control and then click away so that you don't get dummied for like a 60. Because it still does big damage if you're only one square away and when you're walking you're just slower. The second setting that may be helpful for you is stretched mode if you play full screen. For the longest time when I played RuneScape, I played in full screen with this tiny little inventory and it's a lot easier to misclick when you have such a small target. The third thing you need to do is turn on your quick prayers. Have them set to protect from magic and rigor. And if you don't have rigor then use eagle eye but also you should invest in rigor as soon as possible as it's one of the best upgrades in the game. The fourth thing you need is a slayer staff. I do not recommend doing this boss without a slayer staff as it simply just makes it a lot harder the spawn. I feel like that pretty much covers the main issues that you will have with Vorkath. If you are struggling to get Vorkath kills, I can pretty much guarantee it is because you are eating at the wrong times or you're just getting hit by the fireball. Now I'm going to go over a full kill that I did with this budget gear except I had 99 range. I'm showing you this kill instead of the one with the decreased stats because I made a lot more mistakes during this kill that I want to talk about because they are really good teaching moments. I'm still going to do my best not to overload you with information like most guides do, only the essential information that will help you learn. So teleport to Relica, bring your best range gear, I recommend bringing blessed dehyde or carols over void for learning. The best upgrade you can have early on is a dragon crossbow
crossbow with dragon ruby bolts enchanted over a rune crossbow with just ruby bolts enchanted. You'll need a super anti-fire and a anti-venom plus. Bring a rune pouch if you have one. So wake up Vorkath, turn on your quick prayers, and turn your run energy off. And to start, you just simply click him and just make sure your health doesn't go below 32 until he does a special phase attack. And don't get hit by fireballs. Okay, so first special attack phase is a spawn, so just equip your Slayer Staff and kill the spawn. My health is still pretty much full, so I don't have to worry about eating him. You'll notice that I shut my prayers off during every special attack phase. When you're learning, this is not important. Don't even worry about shutting off your quick prayers, just leave them on for the entire fight and just drink prayer pots. So this purple dragon breath will shut your prayers off, but you will also notice that you can hear it. It sounds different. Having game sounds on, you'll hear it before you even see the breath, and that's when you'll know to move your mouse towards your quick prayer, so then as soon as it shuts off, you can turn it on as soon as possible. So this is exactly why you don't try to attack during the acid phase, because then you just take damage and you don't do a lot of damage. It's a net, net negative reaction. PVM is all about mouse accuracy and precision, reaction time, and thinking ahead. You can use all of these to your advantage at certain times. You'll notice throughout this fight that I constantly am putting my mouse where I need to click next because that will allow for a slower reaction time and also being less accurate with your clicks. A special attack phase is about to happen, listen. Every special attack has a different sound cue. The sound cues are very helpful for helping you react to put your mouse where it needs to be. Fireball attack also has a sound cue. And every time he uses his fireball attack here, I'm holding control on my keyboard before I click so that my character runs instead of walks. Okay, pause the video. A special attack phase is about to happen. Which will it be? Acid or spawn? The last special attack phase was an undead spawn, meaning this special attack phase will be an acid phase. By no means do you need to count the number of attacks before a special attack phase occurs. I have done over a thousand Vorkath kills and I never count. I simply just react because I know that it's always going to be the opposite of whatever happened last. So while you are attacking Vorkath when he's just doing his normal attacks, I'm always looking out for two things. The fireball is the most important thing to avoid, so I generally always keep my mouse around like two squares away from my character, so I know all I have to do is press control real quick and just click as soon as I see that fireball come out. The other thing you need to be watching for is the attack that turns your prayers off. So. During the normal attack phase, you are only looking for two things, to run away from a fireball and turn your quick prayers back on. Other than that, it's pretty chill, you just sit there and just wait to react to what Vorkath does. So right here, I know that an acid phase is coming up, so you'll notice that I keep my mouse one square behind my character. When the acid phase occurs, an acid pool will always land where you are standing. But if you click one tile behind you, as soon as you see Vorkath's head go back, you can avoid taking that damage from that acid pool. But if you do take the damage, it's not a big deal. It's only like 5 to 10 damage. It's really not a lot, and it's pretty hard to avoid unless you're counting the attacks, but it's just not worth the brain capacity to count the attacks. So the undead spawn phase is about to occur, and I ate too late in this instance, and the undead spawn actually hit me for like a 50 and then I forgot to turn my prayers back on right away. So the dragon breath hit me for like a 40 because I didn't have protect from magic on and opted to eat instead. Here I should have turned my prayer back on, then did a combo eat, and then I could have been chilling. So even though I made mistakes here, being able to combo eat potentially saved my life twice here. And you'll notice that I don't heal up anymore. I still continue to do damage because doing damage during the normal phase is more important than healing. If you take absolutely nothing away from this video, just remember this. The deciding factor that determines if you kill a boss or not is your damage output versus your damage intake. If you add up all the food in your inventory plus your HP level, this is the maximum amount of damage that you can take against a boss. Therefore, you need to optimize how to do more damage within the given amount of HP that you have in your inventory, aka you have a limited amount of time. You can increase the amount of time you have by increasing the amount of HP you you carry in your inventory with different types of food but more importantly you can increase your damage per second on a boss by understanding when you should eat based off the boss mechanics i hope this video was somewhat engaging and helpful if you have any questions at all hit me up in the comments and i will answer every single one peace